Ahoy, happy moon day. I'm here in the jungle of Los Angeles, the city of angels. My name is Ron. My last name is Devu. I'm here studying these crazy, crazy plants on this tree. I've just flown into this interesting city of Los Angeles and I'm fascinated because about a few days ago I was on the east coast and it was very cold but now it's very warm and there's flowers blossoming everywhere it's beautiful just kidding my name is philosophical and I just flew into Los Angeles California and it is a marvelous day here the palm trees are fluttering in the wind and the crows are saying hello because we're all part of the bird tribe flying through this crazy world and uh, it's almost December here and that means that I've been on the Floetry and Gift Circle tour for about five months which is quite crazy to just reflect back on this last five months of living this nomadic lifestyle and um, I just felt like making a little video today on this happy moon day, happy Monday, and uh, just sharing some things that I'm currently excited about and been pondering. Um, the first thing is I watched this incredible video of recent talk from Charles Eisenstein where he's uh, giving this talk at this festival called Boom which is like a, a sort of Burning Man-esque festival in Portugal. I love the name, BOOM! Uh, <laughs> and uh, he talks about miracles and his definition of a miracle is it's when you have an experience that doesn't fit into your current belief system. So when this happens, it's, it's a discontinuity in your regular day-to-day -day life so basically in, in my life I've had numerous experiences like this where I'm living inside this bubble made up of BS which is belief system so it's my BS bubble and uh, and then I have an experience which basically pops the bubble because that experience doesn't fit into the way I see that the world works and um, like when this kind of thing happens, it's just you have the choice to either change your belief system or you can just kind of shrink back into your into your comfort bubble. And um, I think the the exciting way to live is to constantly try and expand the bubble of your your BS bubble. And um, in the video, Charles Eisenstein gives some really amazing examples and talks about how as we're moving into this new paradigm of, of way of being and way of seeing the world, um, these miracles are happening more and more to more and more people. And it's important that we affirm to each other that these miracles are real and we remind each other that we're not crazy and that a more beautiful world is possible and it is already happening and it's 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 gelling alongside the destruction of or the collapse the decay of this old way of seeing the world um, and uh, it's just such an exciting time to be alive as this transition is happening and as we are participating in this transition which is what I strive to do every day and I'm just one little one little monkey trying to do my part trying to be a spoke in the wheel by doing some spoken word because um, <laughs> we're all just spokes in the wheel or strands in the hammock or uh, creatures in the ecosystem and the more we can collaborate and co-create the more our world will just look so great. Um, so along with that, um, firstly, I'd love to hear some of your miracles or just I'd encourage you to just reflect on the times when you've had some sort of discontinuity come in 
and um, like for me a discontinuity that came in which was when I, I got hit by a car <laughs> um, I was biking down the the 101 coastal highway about two years ago in fact holy cow the two-year anniversary of my near-death experience just passed I didn't even realize is November 18th um, and uh, yeah so I was just cruising along and out of nowhere this huge car just hits me at going 55 miles an hour and I fly off my bicycle and have this this near-death experience um, where I just basically melted into this ocean of white light and it was the most peaceful thing ever um, and after that happened I I just had this whole new way of seeing the world um, and it just made me have a much more peaceful way of being in my day-to-day -day life and it totally just having this experience proved to me that there is some life after death and it expanded my my BS bubble um, <laughs> and it was pretty crazy um, yesterday I was driving along the road with my friends and I saw a yellow kitty litter bucket on the side of the road and not only was it a yellow kitty litter bucket but it was broken and it just totally brought me back to the experience of getting hit by the car because when I was riding my bicycle I had these yellow tidy cat buckets on the back of my bike and that's what the car first hit and it, my kitty litter bucket exploded and I flew off my bike so the kitty litter bucket actually probably saved my life and it was just really wild to see this kitty litter bucket on the side of the road yesterday and it just totally brought me back to that experience um, and that that is a kind of a sign that we're in the the flow of miracles when you have these crazy synchronicities which like bring you back into these wild experiences um, but anywho um, <laughs> the uh, the next thing I want to mention is talking about collaboration I mentioned on the album I just released called Reconnection Flowetry that I'm it's part of the Reconnection Flowetry project which I really want to collaborate more with other people like you and other people through the interwebs so if you are interested in participating in this project in any way please send me an email my email address is philopgh at gmail.com um, and I would just love to help spread these flowetry ideas and other videos and things to more people because I just meet so many people who are so eager to delve more into these topics and so I just want to help make these things more available to more and more people especially young people I'm super excited. Um, two weeks from now, I'm going to be going to this gathering called the Star Knowledge Conference in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to be helping uh, younger children work on their own sort of flowetry and things like that. Um, so that's one thing on the, the playlist. I like to replace the word agenda with playlist. Um, I encourage you to come up with your own new vocabulary as well. It's a very fun thing to do. Um, <laughs> another thing I want to share that I've been enjoying recently is just um, playing these meditative music playlists from YouTube while I sleep because I often like wake up in the middle of the night and it's just really nice to hear this like comforting music playing. Um, and I encourage you to check out some of the playlists that I've recently created. There's this one that I really love. It's called Merlin's Magic. <laughs> it's like this groovy uh, meditative music. Um, and it just, I feel like it helps me sleep better in general. Um, and I've also been adding some videos to more playlists. I really love watching YouTube playlists and I encourage you to make your own playlists. Um, 
let's see, scoobly doo, what else do I want to feel like sharing? I might ride the word wave for a little bit. Um, I feel like I was riding the uh, the winter, the non-winter wave because I, I just uh, catapulted myself on an airplane over here to the west coast and it's warm again. It was just freezing cold back in Indiana, but here it's like 65 degrees. So I feel like I somehow um, ride in the infinite, infinite summer wave. <laughs> but I do feel like rhyming a little bit and timing a little bit because my watch still says now between Ni Hao and Chow is now. I try not to forget that some way, somehow because I got to remember it's just like my memory and everything is really just infinite energy because we're spinning on a big double Taurus and we're living amongst this beautiful food forest and we got permaculture everywhere and I'm not sure how much battery is left on my camera because it's a Kodak and if you throw a boomerang then it's bound to flow back because it's a big karmic loop and you see a bird and it does a big swoop and then you eat some hula hoops but you really just eat your black bean soups while you do your hula hoops and you can just keep your hula hoop going in a circle and it doesn't matter whether your brain is blue or purple because it's really just a gray matter <laughs> and it's your gray matter inside the brain hemisphere and we're just living trying to live with love and not fear because fear is kept in the mind but with the heart mind combined loving life is what you'll find and that is a line from paradigm shift and flow a tree and i'm riding with no bags like my groceries and we know we're giving birth, but we don't have ovaries, but some people got ovaries. <laughs> and I'm just going crazy and living life, not trying to be lazy. But being lazy sometimes is fun because you got to rest underneath the sun because it all flows back to the infinite one. Yes, yes, bless, bless, never have any stress. And to recap on what I said previously in this video, there's miracles everywhere. <laughs> All right, I'm just riding the word wave. I encourage you to ride the word wave. Set aside your rational mind and your and your uh, linear thinking time and just let your subconscious mind unwind into the infinite divine. Um, but yes, please check out the links. I definitely encourage you to watch the, the Charles Einstein talk from uh, Boom Festival and um, please post any of your own miracles or discontinuities that have happened in your life because we can all affirm each other's discontinuities and pop each other's BS bubbles. Um, and if you would like to help out with the Reconnection Flow Tree Project in any way or if you have any ideas you want to share or any places you think I could visit on the Flow Tree and Gift Circle Tour, please let me know. Please send an email to philopgh.com. You are awesome. Life is awesome. That tree is awesome. This new earth paradigm is all in blossom. So scoobly-doo. Peace and love. Thank you.